Hi everyone, welcome back to This the Police, Day 77. Wooden Horse Toy Store donates toy trucks to Orphanage, Fighter Air Show taking place outside the city, and City Hall vows to solve a water crisis. Uh, we are doing A-OK -okay with City Hall and the Mafia, however we are on our last legs with the police station. We're going to have to be super good with all our police officers, we cannot have another complaint against us or that will be the end of the road I'm afraid. Let's go! So we're going to have to be su super sensitive towards our people. Trove, there's a new movie opening today starring my favourite actor, can you let me have the time off? No, don't be ridiculous. I think I forgot to feed my fish back at the house. Can I have the day off? No, don't be stupid. Fish can go for a starved day. It's good for their digestion. Darius, I am too tired. I can hardly walk straight. Yeah, that's that. Okay, you can have the day off. Because, you know, he is tired, so that's fine. I'm happy with that. The other two, what a waste of space them two are, eh? Okay, day 77, 7 o'clock. Oh, we got the funeral of De Lozar. Turner and Forney. Oh well. Uh, the ghetto murder. Here we are. 45 year old Maria Camilla Solis, employee at the City Hall, was found brutally mullered, mullered? <laughs> murdered in her apartment. Uh, we need to get some um, officers available. Uh, Wolf, you're in today, aren't you? And I think Vickers and Wolf. Yep. Yeah. Right, so here we got. Yes, Vickers and Wolf. Vickers, you are going to lead it. You look like the the kind of fat cop we need. Take the SWAT team with you just in case. Good, groovy. 8 o'clock in the morning, first case being looked at. Terrific. Uh, we have Freeburg High School. Some students are claiming that the dentist showed up during their biology lesson and carved up some live frogs with his drill. That is a waste of time. We are not even going to respond to that. Uh... Public indecency. We just received a call from the university lecturer who reports that a first year student went to the board during a lecture, took down his pants and defecated right there in front of the entire class. Maybe it was some sort of hazing or rite of passage. Right, um, Burley, you go. Stop worrying about your fish. Go and do some tidying up at the, the university. How grim. Oh, serial murder. Frames found. So, oh yeah, here she is, look. So this 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 woman, drill coming down. She's obviously got like a a collar on with a with a chain, or she's got some sort of um Zorro mask on, or she's got white hair. Yeah, so yeah, we'll give those frames to the feds. And see what they make of it. Here we go, the animal abuse. Students just wanted to cause trouble. Yeah, thought so. False alarm. And Burley, he was absolutely useless. Unable to get a defecating youth with, um, you know, running squidgily along the road. Oh, dear. No hope for him. Useless cop. We may have to get rid of you, Burley. Or Bur Burry? Burry? You've six days. That was your first assignment, and you failed us. You failed us. Look, fish back over here with 1,200 professionalism. Goodness me. Don't even talk to fish back, Burley. You're not in, in his league, mate. You're not even in his league. And bizarrely, it's 3 o'clock and not lots happened today. Just sitting here twiddling my thumbs. Pow, pow, pow. I guess, actually, now that we've got those frames, we can pop a few, the detectives back on here, can't we? So, Wolf, you go back onto that one. And the homicide... Uh, Vickers, you go on to that one. Good. So if we have a look at these, just to remind ourselves what we're doing. Uh, oh yes, this was the homicide. Uh, but if I remember correctly, the yes, the smooth edges on the wound on his arm were in, in, inflicted in one swift motion. So that's wrong. It's not going to be a hacksaw blade gnawing at it. Um, and bruises from a hard object like a nightstick or club. Now I seem to remember yes there's some weird guy with a cane um, and blah, 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 blah. 
man with a gun on his belt. Oh, an expensive looking car. Yeah, this was his girlfriend, wasn't it? His ugly looking Russian girlfriend with the AK-47. Short hair. Tattoo of a gun on her face. Yeah, and she's got a van. So that's... we just It's this sequence of events, but just not this woman and not this vehicle. And the drug trafficking one, that is... Oh, this is the gang. This is trying to bring this gang boss to the funeral home down, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good. Back up to speed. Papa Carl's Pizzeria. Um, manager of Papa Carl's Pizzeria reported that a deranged elderly man quarrelled with an employee because the line was too long. Unsatisfied, he pulled out a gun and shot the employee in the stomach. Good God! The other customers fell in panic and made a break for the door, but he fired several shots into the air and ordered everyone to finish their meals. Goodness me. Vela, uh, take the SWAT team. Take Trove and take Burley. I'm going to sort that one out. Yes, lovely calm day. Well, apart from a man shooting somebody in the uh, pizzeria. April Coyer Sardius Jewelry Store. Or Sardius, yeah. Mr. Boyd, I would like to offer you a great opportunity to make some real money. Just send two policemen to the store who will pretend that they were trying to stop a robbery. Let me be clear, the robbers must leave the crime scene intact with the cash. Um, well, uh, I'd love to be able to help you, Miss Coyer, but I am on very thin ice with the team in the police department, so I cannot be seen to be corrupt, otherwise that will be game over. So we're going to have to ignore that one, sadly. Uh, as a clear view from the street, the suspect is sitting in the table corner eating his pizza. There's a gun next to him, there are about a dozen other people in the restaurant. Call the pizzeria. Pizza. Call the pizzeria and ask to speak with a man with a gun. Wait until the suspect exits the restaurant or storm the pizzeria. Let's give him a call. Vela, Trove, Burley, offender caught, officers and harms, civilians and harm. Well done, guys. Well done, SWAT. Good. Good. Back up to uh, winning ways, which is good. So everyone's over a hundred now, which is or a hundred or above, which is. Well, it's not quite average. I think 150 was average, wasn't it? So we've got three below average here. We have all sorts of things kicking off now. We have, oh my goodness, uh, we have a massacre. Let's go down. We've got a, the a theft first off. Um, actually, that can probably wait. Let's do the massacre. Massacre surely should be above theft. Uh, the Wise Dragon Restaurant. Several men dressed in camouflage entered the restaurant carrying large sports bags. They asked for a table, ate their meal, then took out some guns from the bags and opened fire. Right. SWAT, you're going. Paddy Wagon doesn't want to go. Uh, Vela, take Kojak, take Trove, and take Burley, and take Hutchinson. Go. Uh, we got Suspicious Individual. Oh, hang on. That one. Theft. Um, Shannon Waldrup. Uh, arranged for a reception for his home for rich friends, about 30 people. Towards the end of the evening, when the servants began to take away the dishes, they noticed that 10 silver cutlery items were missing. No one has left the building yet. Um, Fitz, will you go on your own? Oh, take Bukarika. Um, uh, suspicious individual. Retiree Martha Mir called to complain about her neighbour, Roberto Morales. I've seen his wife. So I haven't seen his wife in the last few days. Um, sorry, I'll start again. I haven't seen his wife, and last night I saw him burying something in the backyard. Today I asked him where his wife was. He mumbled something about a business trip. I'm afraid he's done something to her. I've only got Roy. I doubt he'll go on his own. No. Do you want to go with Paddy Wagon? No. Damn. Damn. <laughs> oh well. Unless somebody gets back. No, no one's going to get back in time. We're just going to have to skip that one. Uh oh. Formal complaint. I think that might be game over, everyone. Uh, situation here is more serious. Crescent, Roy, uh, Paddy Wagon. Paddy Wagon's on a go, so you can have Roy. Uh, Miss Morales really is on a business trip. Oh, good. Oh, thank goodness for me. It was a false alarm. That was a bit of luck. That was a bit of luck. Apartment house rape. Uh, here we go. 
This is the theft in the suburbs. The guests are eating dessert and talking about politics. There's a lot to talk about at the moment. Ask all the guests carrying a purse to go into a separate room. Pick out the most suspicious looking man and beat him. <laughs> uh, nobody's going until we find the thief. Let's try and split them up. One man, outraged by the situation, jumps up and yells he's too honourable and important to participate in such a circus. Uh, let's uh, hit him with a nightstick. Taking advantage of the panic, one of the guests stands up and quietly moves to the back door. Let's tackle him before he can escape. Fish back and back a Rika. Fender court, officers unharmed. Good job, guys. Get back, we got a rape case. Where are you guys? Please get back quickly. No new f new frames on that one, okay. Oh, we got some new frames on this one, good. So, um, Federica personally oversees every incoming delivery from the port. She doesn't go anywhere without two bodyguards, so that's her there. Good. Large cargo ship arrives from Colombia. There it is. Every two weeks and carries lots of interesting things. Federica uh, boards the ship and pays the captain for his services. There we go. She's paying the captain for his services. Happy days. The urns filled with drugs are locked into very large yellow containers. Uh, gets unloaded first. So there's the yellow containers getting unloaded. Box are packed up by a truck. Boom! Yes! We've got it! Um, we got no police officers at the moment. Hang on, massacre. Everyone, offender caught. Officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Great. Uh, guns found. Excellent. Uh, let's bring those back to the station. We're trying to be super good. Um, we're not going to be able to attend this rape, which is going to be horrendous for... Oh, no. Offender escaped. Civilian killed. Oh, good God. Oh. End of the day. Day 78. Golden Bird brutally murdered Maria Camilla Solis was long-standing employee of City Hall, Freeburg Tribune, dentist victims growing older, and 45-year-old City Hall worker strangled by maniac. How are we doing? City Hall, whoops, we've gone down to two out of three stars, Mafia are three stars, police station, we do not know. Chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Let's get to work. Boom! Yesel! I drank too much. I don't think I can hold it together. Can I go home? Yes. And you'll be fired. Uh, Orion. I am too tired. I can hardly walk straight. Can I go home? Oh, you do look tired. Um, you've got two bars, and yet you've only got... You're just over an average cop. Yes, you can have the day off. I'm too tired. I can hardly walk straight. Can I go home? No, uh, you're drinking, so yes, and you're going to be fired as well. My mother was hit by a car. She's been rushed to hospital and she's fighting for her life. I should be with her. Can I miss the shift? Yes. That's a reasonable request. You, however, and you, however, are drunk and you will be fired for being so. Nordlander, well done on your promotion, son. Good. Right, we're going to be brutal with these guys now. We're going to have no more alcoholic issues in our... Department. Oh, we've got to go and uh, sort that out as well. Cool, cool. Uh, we've got the funeral of Ozaki. Oh, Ozaki. And Fraser. Oh, Fraser. Right, hang on. Let's just... Um, police station. This is what we need to do. We need to find the cops we're looking for. This one. We're going to fire. For B. Came into work drunk. Boom. And you, you're going to be fired. Well, you're too old, apparently. <laughs> uh, oh, fail th three assignments in a row, you can be fired. Oh, excellent. Well, those two are gone. Labour market. Um, Jack Patworth, welcome to the service. Hang on, let me just check which shift B. Shift B is what we need on shift B. And welcome, Roscoe Rev Revek. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good stuff. Good. We're getting some of the dross out of the uh, the police force. I like that. 
Okay, so this is the uh, the funeral drug trafficking. Federica Laterza, Laterza has a meeting scheduled with the head of the port's worker union. Oh, hang on, Weaver's not in today. Oh, that's a shame. Damn. Or... Um, or... Uh, she could be... Upcoming hair appointment. Um, the Sands need help. Jack, we are arranging plans for a funeral today. Everything has to go quietly and respectfully. Three guys should be enough. Koji, Kingston, Asano. That hasn't even left me four cops, though. They're good cops, but... Mm, I don't know what to do with this. Um, so I take it she's on a different... Ah, uh, well, we could try the trade union building. Um, let's try it. send Kochi and Purdy, our two best officers. Hang on, can we send the SWAT team? Yes. Weaver's not on shift today, so we're gonna have to uh, see if we can just catch her that way. Obviously, it does reduce the chances of us actually having a successful bust if um, the main detective is not there. But what can we do? Drug trafficking report. Kochi Purdy, offender court! Yes! Yes, guys! The SWAT team, Purdy, Kochi. Oh, case closed. You were able to arrest all suspects. Weaver, Wolf, good job. Boom! Reward 35 grand. Eliminate the gang. Boo, 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 boo. You have destroyed this gang. Woo! Nice! Happy days, everyone. Happy days. Anyway, public indecency on the beach. Viola Corey uh, called the police when she saw a naked young woman sunbathing at the beach. I came here with my grandchildren, and there's a woman with her legs spread apart. It's just shameless. I want... <laughs> I want this dealt with immediately. Oh, my goodness. I didn't... Know. I bet... Wow. Okay. Magnamara with his moustache. He's keen to see that on his own. I mean, to do the... The call on his own, should I say. Anyway, attempted murder. The owner of a gallery phoned to complain about a repairman who helped install the, her exhibition. I made a casual remark to him and he looked at me like I was a serial killer. I'm afraid it's the dentists and I'm... It's not the dentist. Ko Kojo, take Kingston. Oh, then ignore it. That's a waste of time. The dentist is a very intelligent serial killer criminal mastermind he's not gonna uh, it's all this hysteria that's going around at the moment it's ridiculous ridiculous right Magnamara offender court officers and harms and a big smile on his face yeah happy days St John's hospital a guest came to the hospital to check a man named Christopher Rhodes but he wasn't allowed in because visiting hours were over. The man became unruly and hit the nurse. It's not on. Kochi, take Kojo. Go and sort that out. Here we go. This attempted murder. Repairman didn't threaten anyone. No, of course he didn't. It's just a waste of time. We should prosecute the the person who called in for wasting our time. Uh, Stockbroker Jerome Fenigana. Fenigana. Fenny, yeah, was sitting at his office when he was attacked by an unhappy client. Jerome managed to escape and lock himself in the closet. Meanwhile, his attacker is trying to break down the door. Purdy, take Kingston. Go and sort it out. These these cops have got good stats, haven't they? They're, they're not, you know, 760 is pretty good. It's not outstanding like the ones we have over 1,000, but, but still. Uh, suspicious individual at St. John's Hospital. Have we just sent somebody to St. John's Hospital? A man was uh, with a lacerated hand walked into the emergency room. He says he heard his hand while drilling something at home. I don't believe him. From the side, he looks like the dentist. No, that's a waste of time. Uh, construction property. A group of environmentalists have gathered at a first store and begun throwing stones at the windows. Uh, okay, Norlander, take. I'll uh, just take take those guys. Can we? No. This is a guy who's just hurt his hand and he's gone to uh, sort of 
to the hospital to sort himself out. Um, suspect is under arrest. The whole time he was assisting, uh, sorry, resisting and demanding he be allowed to visit his patient. It's my brother. He won't survive to the end of the week. Just let me see him. Let him visit, but keep him under arrest. Uh, take the offender to the police station. Remove the handcuffs and let him go to his brother. Let's uh, let him visit the room, but keep him under arrest. Kochi Kojo, offender court, officers and harms. Good job. And we had a bit of sympathy there as well, which was nice. We're the caring police officers. That's what I like to think, anyway. That's a waste of time. The assault, Purdy Kingston. Good job. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Destruction of property. Customers and employees are running out of the store. This is the fur, isn't it? Uh, where they're throwing stones. Security guard is trying to reason with the protesters. One of the activists throws a Molotov cocktail through the broken window. Some coats instantly catch fire. Call the fire department and attack the activists with nightsticks. Grab one of the surviving coats and gift it to your sister. Nobody moves while I'll skin you alive. Let's call the fire department and get in there with the old nightsticks. Bish bash bosh. Offender core. Officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. Apart from a few bruises and bloodied noses. Yes. How we just roll. Let's just wait for this one to click out the way. And that was... The man really did hurt his hand at home. He didn't like, like the dentist either from the profile thought so. Mass riots. Moonlight Soccer Stadium. Popstar. Alana Moreira. Um, oh, God. Alana Morales uh, can't get to the concert because her bus is surrounded by excited fans. The singer's manager is afraid that the fans will tear her to pieces. You've got to come over here and sort this out. Okay, can we send the paddy wagon? Paddy wagon. Oh, we actually, we haven't, we haven't got any officers yet. Stand, stand by. There we go. Let's try this again. Paddy wagon. Uh, Kochi, take Magdamara, Koji, and we'll leave two back. Boom. Yeah, Seth Rogen's back, which is always good. And old Purdy. Oh, we got, this, is a, this is a good shift. This is a very good shift. Um, one thing I just thought, we've got one case now, so we need to put everyone on this. Everyone on this. Oh, Patwa looks like a butler, doesn't he? But never mind. Try and get the uh, the frames for that one. Oh, it's all gone quiet. Mass riot. Kochi, Magnamara, Koju, Paddywagon. Good job. Offenders caught. Officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. Good job, everyone. Excellent. Excellent work. They're slowly making their way back to the police station. All's good. All's good. Not a bad... And they made it back safely. Hurrah. Homicide reports. Yes, we got some... So this is it. If you remember, um, this is the guy with the long hair and the cane. So... That is going to be instead of that one. That is going to be instead of that one. Um, and this is going to be instead of that one. Like that. So we now need him cutting his hand with one, like a sword or something. And we need one of him walking behind um, this dude here. And then we've got it. So two more frames, that's all we need. And we got that one sussed. Excellent. Excellent. Shift B really is the dream team. Shift A have somewhere to get some some distance to go to get up to uh, Shift B's professionalism. They are outstanding in their field. Look at them. Look at them. Pride of the police department. Anyway, day seventy-eight complete. We're just waiting for the hours to take over, but we can end the day as nothing more will happen today. Good. We'll leave it there then, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you continue to enjoy. This is the police, and join me next time as we continue our mission to clean up the streets of Freeburg. I'll see you then.